continuing advances in automotive technology have made modern cars and automotive systems become more complex. Typical loads for the automotive battery system include features such as the infotainment system, ADOS, LiDAR, the digital cockpit, lighting, electronics modules, and more. These electronics systems are generally connected to 12-volt or 24-volt battery systems. However, these systems often face harsh and dynamic transient environments, posing significant challenges for power supply designers. In this video, we'll explore these challenges and how to achieve reliable circuit operation in the face of both severe, high-energy transients generated by the alternator and low-level noise generated by the ignition system. Common automotive transient conditions include cold crank, warm crank, reverse battery, and load dump. A cold crank pulse occurs when the battery voltage drops after the starter draws a high current to turn on a cold engine. The power solution should ensure that there is continuous, stable output regulation for inputs as low as 2.8 volts for a short duration. A buck boost converter with a wide input voltage range, such as the MPQ88758 from MPS, can be used to address low input voltages. A warm crank pulse occurs when the voltage of a battery drops as the starter draws a high current to turn on a warm engine. Compared to cold cranks, the voltage drop and shortened pulse duration are typically less severe during warm cranks, with the battery voltage dropping to 5 volts or 6 volts. However, certain functions must continue operating even through a warm crank. Using a DC to DC boost or buck boost converter with a wide input voltage range is also recommended to address warm crank conditions. A reverse voltage, also called reverse battery, condition occurs when the car battery is disconnected from the system and accidentally reconnected with the battery polarity reversed. This can result in a negative voltage across the input supply connector, which can damage the power supply and other circuits. It is critical to protect all ICs and components from exposure to negative or reverse voltages, as these conditions can severely degrade or damage components. A reverse protection diode or MOSFET is typically used to protect circuits against this condition. Smart diode controllers, such as the MPQ5850, offer excellent reverse input protection, while significantly reducing power losses often associated with typical diode and MOSFET protection circuits. A load dump is the voltage surge generated when the battery is disconnected while the alternator is still connected to other electronic loads, such as if the battery terminal or cable has decayed. This surge can exceed 100 volts and cause significant damage to circuits. There are two types of load dump transients, unsuppressed and suppressed. Unsuppressed transients occur when the alternator has no internal clamping or means of suppression, while suppressed transients are suppressed by avalanche diodes in the alternator's rectifier. Clamping protection in the alternator suppresses the transient to a lower voltage in most 12-volt systems. A wide input voltage buck converter, such as the MPQ4316, can offer protection against suppressed load dumps. However, unsuppressed load dumps require much higher clamping protection, which may require a larger, more costly solution. Protecting against load transients is a critical consideration for automotive designers. Buck, boost, and buck boost converters with a wide input voltage range offer flexibility and reliability in the face of harsh transient conditions. By leveraging robust solutions such as the MPQ8875 and MPQ4316, manufacturers can ensure that their vehicles are able to deliver safe, consistent performance. To learn more about these solutions or our other automotive qualified products, visit monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new products.